beginning up to here all of the verses that we have read Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given one message in every way in every in every way Allah ta'ala has delivered this message to us clearly and for which in which is our benefit and the success of the hereafter. And most definitely, Allah's rada, Allah's pleasure, these verses give us the, the luggage, the content that takes us to the pleasure of Allah. And in this verse as well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has today the verse that we will read. Allah ta'ala has again repeated that message in a unique way in a unique style Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse in this verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states those people who break the covenant of Allah the promise that they've made the pact and then after that they break it after ratifying it and those who sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined. In other words, those relationships, connections that Allah Ta'ala has ordered to maintain, they break them. They break them, sever them. And they spread fasad, they who make mischief in the earth. Verily, those are they who are the losers. They will earn a very big loss. Ula'ika humul khasirun. In this verse as well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the human beings, mankind, Allah has given this message. Alladina. Alladina means what? The commentators of the Quran have said that Allah Ta'ala when he said Ya Ayyuhan Nas in the verses earlier, Allah Ta'ala was addressing all of mankind in which are those who don't believe, those who have belief, who are also sinful or followers and thirdly the munafiqeen the hypocrites all are included so Allah stated الذين ينقضون أهد الله من بعد ميثاقه that which promise was this the covenant the pact that was made with Allah strong promise clear promise all of us all of you Allah says disbelievers Muslims those who believe, accept, those who are the fasiq, those who sin, those who reject, those who don't believe, those who don't practice, the munafiqeen, the hypocrites. Allah Ta'ala is reminding all of us that at such a time, you made a promise to me at a certain time, a clear promise you made to me, Allah is saying. Not some minor thing, not some small scale agreement, Allah says in the Quran, this is the mithaq, this is the agreement, the pact, the all of the ruhs, the souls Allah Ta'ala gathered in one place. And after gathering all of the souls, Allah Ta'ala asked them, do you accept that I am your Rabb, your Lord? Do you accept I am your Lord? All of the souls said, yes, qalu bala, yes, yes, Allah, you are our Lord. They agreed. So this 
every ruh, every soul, everyone who's coming, who's gone, who will continue to come, all of the people, all souls promised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Agreed that yes, we Allah, we accept you as our Lord, we accept you as our Rabb. And Allah Ta'ala took a promise in advance for this purpose, for this reason, because Allah was sending us to such a place that that people will turn away from this promise due to nafs, base desire, shaitan. So Allah Ta'ala solidified that pact in advance so that afterwards we can't, uh, we cannot recall, oh Allah, I didn't promise to you, I didn't make an agreement. So in this promise, in this covenant agreement, It wasn't just this, it wasn't just Allah, we believe you as our Rabb, we promised to Allah that in this promise we also said directly in the hadith this is confirmed as Abdul Haq Muhaddith Delwi Rahmatullah has narrated this hadith communicated this hadith that when the nur of Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was created the nur, the light of Mustafa was created then subhanallah from his nur came the benefit to mankind has abdul haq muhaddis there when his hadith i'm mentioning in other words allah ta'ala from nur mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam he created nur mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam then from rasulullah's nur all of the prophets their creation came in other words the 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 their ruh their soul was extracted so Haq Ta'ala from nur mustafa Allah Ta'ala said to nur mustafa that look towards these anwar, these rays, the effect. So when the Holy Prophet looked at the anwar, the light of the Prophets, then the Prophet light overwhelmed them, suppressed them, was more intense than them. And they started to request the, our, our Rabb, our Lord, whose nur is this? Whose light is this? In front of which all our light is dimmed, is dimmed, diminished. Allah Ta'ala stated, this is nur Muhammad, Abdullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you believe in him, Habib Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you believe in him, then I will make you a prophet. And all the prophets said, O oh Rabb, our Lord, we have yaqeen and we believe in his prophethood. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was the promise, the pact, the agreement Allah made with his prophets. In other words, Nur of Mustafa, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Subhanallah. It, it overwhelmed all of the other light of the prophets, it diminished them, dimmed them, and his light overpowers all of the rest. I remember in Nasheed, uh, maybe I won't be able to recite some verses of that Nasheed right now. <laughs> It's the hadith that Allah Ta'ala created the nur of Mustafa Sallallahu and from his nur, all of the other Anbiya, uh, salam, their anwar were extracted, their light was extracted. From the Prophet when the rays of the will of the Absolute form the light of the reality of Muhammad Sallallahu and then the Prophet Sallallahu rays his light Muhammad <laughs> 
जलवतोगे तो फैन बज में कौन गागो सजाया गया वो यहाँ हो गया इसने कुन हो गया वो यहाँ हो गया इसने कुन हो गया गोया तकली के अरसो समो हो गया बहते दरियाओं को सर जलने बने बहते दरिया बहते दरियाओं को सर जलने बने जर्रे जर्रे में उसको बजाया गया क्रिएटेड हजर आदम अलैहिस्सलाम आदम अलैहिस्सलाम इस कुनियत his title was Abu Muhammad. And when Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, when he turned to Allah Ta'ala and said, O oh Rabb, O oh my Lord, for the sake of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, that please forgive this uh, action that took place due to me. And then Allah Ta'ala said, that how did you know about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam? How do you know about him? that you are saying for his sake, then Hazrat Adam alayhi salam said, requested that when you created me Allah at that time, subhanallah, subhanallah, so this verse that I recited, that it all became manifest like the command be taking effect. And so the earth and the heavens were created. So Allah, when I looked towards the arsh, the throne, when you created me, and I looked at everything uh, around paradise and, and I looked at the arsh and the doors of paradise and I saw it written La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi When I saw this written then I understood and realized that his name whoever's name is with Allah's name then most definitely in this universe he is the most supreme personality and person that that person whose name is joint with Allah and on every leaf it was written, then most definitely I understood and realized that this is the final prophet, the seal of the prophets, and that subhanAllah, his name, and that subhanAllah, he is from my progeny, and his name is Ahmad in the heavens, and in the earth, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa brothers, the holy prophet sallallahu alayhi imagine his status, Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa status, that the Quran is saying, "Alladina yanqudun ahd Allah min ba'di mithaqi." Subhanallah. That a big covenant you made with Allah, a great promise you made with Allah. Allah Taala took the promise from all the prophets, from all of the souls that Allah created. And what was that promise that Allah Taala took? That my Nabi will come, and he will be the final prophet. And you all will have to obey him, follow him. And the whole universe, their goodness and benefit, it will be in this following of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The whole universe, creation, their benefit, their goodness will be in obeying and following Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Whoever follows him, obeys him, will be successful. And whoever disobeys him, doesn't follow him, will be the one who incurs the loss, will be the loser. So he stated, after making this promise, Allah says, after making this promise with me, covenant, then how can you reject the sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa How? And this promise, this covenant, this pact, this agreement, to remind you, to repeatedly remind you, so you keep remembering it, Allah ta'ala continue to send the Anbiya alayhi salam for this one reason to remind the people in the world that a prophet will come at the end of time the final prophet the final prophet will come the seal of the prophet his kitab will be final himself he'll be the final prophet his sharia will be the final law everything his sharia will cancel everything beforehand everybody will have to accept his sharia all of the generations and, and times after that their benefit and goodness will be in following him sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Subhanallah. So then, what's the reason for breaking this covenant? Allah says, Allah says, "Aladini yanqudun ahdullah min baadi mitaqi wa yaqtaun ma amar Allah bihi an yusala wa yufsidun fil ard." Allah says, by breaking this promise, because you made this covenant of Allah after after ratifying it, and then you sever it, 
Allah says the goodness, the benefit for the whole of the universe is in this. Upon Rasulullah some Sharia on following his Sunnah. And when when this pact is broken, when people, mankind breaks this promise, which is the condition we see around us today, everywhere in society people have turned the way you turn, broken the promise. Why? وَيَقْتَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُوصَلَ Allah says this action of severing, breaking the tie, that you broke the tie, you severed the tie, this connection, this is the, 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 the base, the foundation that was going to unite all of you together. Yani in this world, in this world to live here, whatever you were to succeed in, in the world, it was via the Sharia of the Prophet ﷺ. So when a person rejects the Sharia of Rasul ﷺ, then apart from fasad and mischief and loss, you will get nothing else in the world. Nothing else. So in other words, in other words, the, a righteous, upright life is the definition is just one, to live your life according to the Sharia and Sunnah of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. That is the definition of an upright and righteous life. Remember the Qur'an reminds us this. The Qur'an reminds us this, that, that, that no person in any way or form can attain peace, contentment, by any other mode. And we see this in our lives today in the society, in the environment today. There's no peace in any home, no peace in any society, no peace in any country can come. Uh, even despite having everything material, this, that, progress and wealth. And the reason that peace and contempt is not there, the thing that was to mend the ties, maintain the ties, increase the ties, was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's sharia and sunnah. That was what was going to do the job. And that has been taken out. Those who believe have taken it out, and those who don't believe have accepted it. So this promise that Allah Ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ يَنْقُضُونَ أَهْدَ اللَّهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِثَاقِ One was this, that in when Allah Ta'ala had on the plain, all the souls were gathered, Allah took the promise. And the mu'min, he, when he has iman, he says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. He makes all the correct and necessary promises. Tell them. All of the mu'mins promised Allah, you are wahdahu la sharik, you are one, and we will obey you, and you are our Rabb. But deen is not complete until we don't say Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Deen is not complete. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is your Rasul, Prophet. We accept, believe. We will obey him, follow him, imitate him. We will follow his laws and principles and instructions. This is the promise that we made. So one is the, the promise when we were souls. We promised Allah and every Muslim promises the, the disbeliever. He is gone to the wayside, to the side. And the, the Muslim or the Munafiks as well, they've promised, they've made this pact, an agreement, they, they promised to Allah. So then, to, to break the promise, وَيَقْتَعُونَ To break, to sever, قطع, to sever the tie, to break the tie. So, when you make the, the, the promise to Allah, Allah says then, you also have to maintain the relationship in society. Allah, Allah said, I sent you with belief in me and my, and my Prophet Wasallam, but you also have to maintain the ties in society. And if people leave Allah and His Rasul Wasallam, then the connections, the relations in the world are severed. Because via the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam came peace and happiness. Via the Sharia and the Sunnah of Rasul Wasallam came the learning of how to maintain connections and happiness with people. And if you leave Rasul Wasallam, then you can't leave His law and the law of Allah and bring your own laws in the world to maintain peace and prosperity. Never impossible. It doesn't matter how many laws you make in opposition to the Sharia and Sunnah, they will never succeed. If they did, then today we would not have facade, mischief, evil, wrong in the world. You'd have all sorts of laws. People are killing, plundering, looting. And there's only one thing that can mend the hearts of people, bring the hearts together in love, and that is Sharia Mutahara. The Holy Sharia, the Sunnah Sharifa, Honorable Sunnah of the Prophet that can bring the society together, join people together, forge relationships, meaningful. The biggest and most important thing in Islam, the, the biggest message of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, the most important message we can say, is what? The Holy Prophet ﷺ has a... يقول لا تنزل الرحمة على قومي بين مخات الرحم بعد هذه The Sahabi stated that the Holy Prophet said, he said, I had myself, that 
Mercy can never come unto that nation, those people within whom there's a person who with his relatives and the people close to him, he severs the ties, breaks the connection with them. Mercy can never come to, that, to those people, to that nation. This is a point. Allah Ta'ala stated that. Another hadith, Abdul Rahman bin Auf, Radhinu stated that the Prophet said, that Allah Ta'ala stated that I am Allah. And, and as Abdul Rahman bin Auf qala Sumit, and Abdul Rahman of Kala Samid Rasulullah Sallam Yakulu Kala Allah Tabarakala Ta'ala Anna Allahu Wa Anna Rahmanu Wa Khalaqtu Rahim Allah says I am Allah I am Ar-Rahman and I created the relationships and connections and ties and I linked that with my name and Allah says that whoever maintains rahmah, mercy, I will be joined with him. And whoever breaks the ties, then I will break my tie with him, Allah says. So in this, in this ayah, Allah is saying that you made a promise with me. You made a pact, a covenant that you will believe in me and believe in the Prophet, my beloved sallallahu alayhi wa You broke that tie with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and you've done dhulm on yourself, you've oppressed yourself. When you have cancelled that agreement of believing and following the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Sharia, and this one, when you take that out of your life, Allah says, that was the one sole thing that could keep you in line on the straight and narrow, and which would have brought peace and prosperity amongst you all. When you break that tie, then all sources of goodness have ended. Then there's no love, there's no peace, there's no relationships, positive relations. We see now the hal. Of us, our hal, our condition in the world. So when Allah Ta'ala states, Allah Ta'ala has clearly stated, and the Holy Prophet has stated, that on that nation, those people, mercy of Allah can never come within whom there's a person who breaks the ties with those who are close to him, his relatives, his, his bondsmen. So my brothers, we cannot join. We cannot increase. We cannot succeed. We cannot, this dunya cannot prosper, this, pro, this dunya cannot succeed. Our families, our households cannot succeed, they cannot prosper. If, if, until, and unless we don't remind ourselves of that promise, that Allah Ta'ala, He took that promise from us, and then took, sent our rule into the world, which was to believe in Allah and His Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. Uh, the, the, the Prophet's name, Ahmed, recognized in the world and in the, uh, in the heavens and in the world, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah says, I don't want to have created the world, I want to have created the heavens, the skies, O Adam. Allah says, that I, I wouldn't have created you either. Subhanallah. So brothers, what sort of wisdom is this and intellect is this that we we accept that um, without Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi we can live our life, that Sharia is not in our life, we can live our life successfully. What wisdom is that? No, no, no. Rather, that's a different response Allah Ta'ala is giving to that. Allah says, وَيُفْسِدُونَ Allah says, وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ no, this is fasad. These are those who make mischief in the earth. Spread fitan. Who are the fasadis? Those who spread disorder, mischief in the world. These are those fasadis who take people away from the real deen, turn people away from the real deen, who criticize the sharia of the Holy Prophet Wasallam. They belittle the sunnah and the sharia. They mock it. They joke against it. And those who follow it, they criticize them and pick bones with them and criticize them and belittle them. And joke with them. And to, to go against the deen of Islam. Yes. What they do is they criticize the deen of Islam. They put doubts into the minds of people. To belittle them, dishonor them, degrade them. Those who follow the sunnah sharia, the real sharia and sunnah in comparison to that. If a person is following that. And those people who have the methodology against the, the path of Islam. They revive those ways that are against the path of Islam. But remember one point Allah Ta'ala says. Remember one point. That this, these people's plots and plans. And due to their efforts they want to end the sharia. They want to end the sunnah. They want to oppose the verse of the Quran. They want to create a new ideology. They want to be modernist, progressive, so-called thinkers and advanced people. This is plot and plan as you want. Try to revive or invent what you want. It will be your loss. Those are they who are the losers. Loss will come to you. 
Loss will come to you in this world and in the akhirah, in the hereafter. So this is the light that the Sharia and Sunnah is that light, intense light, that this light can never be put out, never flicker, never shake. Nure Khuda, the light of Allah's deen. How can the darkness and disbelief and non practice put this out? Never. It can never. So, this is what we need to understand. Allah says that this light, this flame can never be put out. Doesn't matter how much effort you put into this, doesn't matter how much people desire to, to put out the light of the Shirin Sunnah in opposition to this, bring another deen of the way, apart from facade, disorder and mischief and fitna, nothing will arise in the world. Experience it. Forget about society. Let's just hone in on our homes and our families. If there's no peace in our homes, if the situation is difficult, clashes, then bring Sharia into your home. How will Sharia come? That every decision make according to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu life, his Sharia, his law. Make a promise. We promise to Allah. Allah Ta'ala is reminding us that you've made this promise many, such a long time ago. Allah Akbar Allah says that, وَيَقْتَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ That you made the promise and after that you broke it. You severed the tie after making the, and after ratifying the covenant, you severed it. Allahu Akbar. So the problem here today is that the, the root cause of mischief and disorder in the world today is this. Allah says that you broke this promise. You severed your tie with me. The, the covenant. And, and then on top of that, you are trying to justify your actions. That it's not necessary for us. Sharia, Sunnah. It's not necessary for us. We're trying to justify. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ The Quran says... That you can never wipe out Islam, you can never wipe away, you can never conceal the deem. Rather, you will, you will spoil and destroy your own condition and destiny. Allah's Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his Sharia, alhamdulillah, is such nur, such light, such guidance that all people, if they follow this, that brilliant life they can live. Allah gives a guarantee. As Anas kala kala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Anas sadi Allah taala kala kala Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Man abba jab sata lahu fi rizki. As Anas radiallahu anhu stated that the Holy Prophet sallallahu stated that that person who wants elevation in his risk, wealth, the heights, barakat, blessings, what should he do? What should he do? Wrong? And, and consume people's wealth, fraud, and leave salah? I've come to the world, I need to uh, the, put all the children to work. Send them to theaters, morning, till evening, wife, children, daughters, everyone's working, everyone's in outdoors, day and night working, slaving away. No. No, because risk is in whose hands? Control. Allah Ta'ala's control. Risk, wealth, all goodness, prosperity, not just money, but goodness, prosperity, happiness in the family, in the, in the house, in, is in whose control? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's control. He has the supreme control. He distributes the blessings and the wealth and prosperities. If we believe that all of this is in Allah's hands, then why don't we obey Allah's orders? Yes? That, does anyone desire, does anybody want goodness and prosperity in their wealth and increase in wealth, blessings, wealth? Then Allah says, if you do, then do this. That don't consume anyone's wealth. Don't consume riba. Don't lie. Don't be dishonest. For the sake of money, don't leave salah. Be punctual in salah. Subhanallah. So this we think that by doing these sins and wrongs, by leaving the deen, that we are increasing our wealth. But Allah Ta'ala says no. Allah says no. That if you want to increase your risk, your wealth, Allah says, I am your malik, control, I'll tell you the way, the methodology to increase your risk, prosperity, blessings. Amr Allahu, Allah says, that take all of that path, ma amr Allahu bihi that don't sever the tie, mend that tie, strengthen that tie, that Rasulullah Wasallam came with the Sharia and Sunnah, adopt that way, adopt that ideology, methodology, Allah promises your risk, your wealth, will intensify increase not by lying fraud and uh, and 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 deceiving Allah says just implement the good then your risk will inshallah increase then in your family in household there will be obedience your wife and children your daughters will stay at home and your risk will increase inshallah so what is it that will bring prosperity what will bring it blessings so if you desire and want 
No, we don't want it, is it? Okay, fine. Then here the consequence, Allah says. Now, we want, do we want another chance? We want warning after warning? Warning after warning? Allah says, do you want your, your age to increase? Or do you want your rizq to increase and age to increase? Subhanallah, what a great point. What a great point. That a brilliant life, rizq, wealth, prosperity, blessings, you want that to increase? And age to increase? Life to increase? Subhanallah. And, and a good life, a healthy life. Yes? In other words, no sickness, no distress, no ups, no, no dance. You get both things and amaz- amazing blessings that was life. So the Allah says, you want that, then implement what my Habib Sallallahu told you. What should we do? That you should increase Sula Rahmi. You should mend the ties, enhance the ties. Uh, and those who break the ties, you should mend the ties. You should increase love and harmony in society amongst the people you know. And then you will get blessings in your wealth and you get increase in age. How do you get that? By maintaining, enhancing, improving, promoting the ties and relationships with people of the world. So you should have love, you should fulfill the rights of the relatives, meet them, look after them, see after them. Look at this. Yes, and you should fulfill the rights of your close relatives and friends. Our Sharia says that for this is what our Sharia says, but the enmity starts with them. Why? Because we've left the tariqah, the sunnah of Rasulullah, we've adopted, embraced the tariqah, the method of the ghayr, the strange way. They have the courts and the police stations and the places when you have disputes, when you fight, they'll come to your home, they'll take you out, the wife out, or the husband now, one will be locked out, the children will be sent somewhere else. This is what happens, this is what the law says, isn't it? That does this create harmony, peace, prosperity? Does this come? Does this, is this in line with Islam teaching? But Rasulullah says, Sharia and Sunnah, it creates harmony, prosperity, and forging ties, strengthening ties and relationships. Well, why don't we do this? Because we don't follow the Sharia. And in our sites, it's nothing. Pray Salah, that's it. It's not enough. And if we don't do Amal practice, the Prophet sells some Sunnah and Sharia. If we don't decide on the principles of the Sharia in our lives, we won't get success. So maintaining ties, promoting ties, strengthening the relationships. Allah teaches us this in this verse of the Quran. First and foremost, Allah says, you made a covenant, a pact that we, us, will accept the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Sunnah, his Sharia, our ruh said this, our soul. Allah says, the first loss, because you broke that promise, the ahd, Allah says that amongst you, enmity has prevailed and spread, intensified. When you break the Sunnah and Sharia of Rasulullah SAW, when you discard it, shun it, this is the first loss on humanity. Dhulam, oppression, murder, plundering, looting, fasad, disorder. This all starts in society and then spreads. And fighting, brothers fighting, quarreling, friends quarreling and fighting. Everything. Yes, we're blind. If we become people who are running after debts and nobody wants to listen, nobody wants to hear, nobody wants to understand. This is what Allah Ta'ala says, that you broke the promise, the biggest pro- the, the punishment you'll get is that, that those things that you should strengthen and maintain and intensify the relationships, you'll break them and you won't be able to mend them after. Why yufsiduna fil ard? Because of the disorder, mischief that you have created in the world due to shunning the deen. You've become fasadi. You've become people of disorder, sinful. Mischief makers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse again has reminded us and reminded us again that the best way, the supreme way of life, whether the world accepts or not, believes or not, or if you want happiness and blessings in this world and the hereafter, then alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, the best way of life, the best life in this world, and the best reward in the hereafter, then there's only one way, one method. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sharia and sunnah, embrace it, implement it, imitate it, follow it. May Allah ta'ala give us all the ability to understand this. Wa akhru dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alami.
ตลอดครับอบนาลาตุฮัมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมมินาลาตุฮัมยันลาฮ์ลายที่รักษาเป็นกุลเดียันลาฮ์ชายที่รักษาที่รักษาเป็นกุลเดียันลาฮ์ใครชื่อสินดีสิบาฟีมังเตนเดียบอลยันลาฮ์ปนหามังเตนใครชื่อสินดีสิบีเดียบอลยักรีมียักรีมฮามาร์สินดีกี่คนที่ฮักมาร์กุลานิกตาลกัตเตนเดียบอลยันลาฮ์ฮามาร์มุสีบตุมตาลเดียฮามาร์ปุริชานีบดานเดียฮามาร์มีบาริงดูสมาเดียันลาฮ์เมตตาพากุมาปัตสิบอลฮามาริโอลาดุนตะพักมาปัตสิตุฮามาริโอลาดุนฟามาริยาคูวิทุนดกุลาเดวิดยาลามกุดินกัชูรตักุลมาเดเฮียนสิฟุลมาเดยาลามกุดิฮันสิฟุลมาเดยาลาดินกิมฮับุตินกสีนิมิลาเดเฮมินมาลาฮามาริกาดินกุฮาลาตุฟุบดัลเดยาลาฮามาริกาลุมเนชารีดังกุปัดาฟุลมาเดฮัมเมจูคุมซูรีเฮมินมาลาวคุมซูรีมีดูฟุลมาเดเอลามลามอสิ بنسى بحلي بحلي من المولى من التوائي السنة بنا دي يا كريم من النبي بهم كي ستجيب محبت نصيب الماء يا الله محبت ونصيب الماء كي سرقال دم جسي بيال كرتم جس جيسي محبت كرتم حبي موسيقي محبت تحب الماء دي من المولى يا رحمة إني جاء كرام كرتم أبني فضل سي أبني حبيب كي ستجيب كي ستجيب بلا ما ياسي تمام كو قبول فرما صلى الله تعالى على خير يخل كي محمد وعليه صحبه جوائن يا رحمتي كي يا رحمة وحمد سبحان ربك 